Good evening, everybody. Today, I want to show you guys my skincare routine because it has been updated. My skin is usually very dry and my lips right now is so dry, I can feel it. But I don't want to put on some Vaseline or something to moist my lips now because I am going to show you guys my skincare routine. I just came home from school. I did put on some mascara and did brush my brow a little bit, but I didn't want to like get the full makeup today because I was just going to be at school for like two hours and then come home again. It's very early, but I just take my night for now. I usually take my skincare routine before I eat dinner, so I don't need to do that when I get a little bit tired. I usually start with this one. This is a simple smoothing facial scrub with rice. It has no perfume and that is so good. Just going to wash my face. I usually don't take a lot of products on my hand. Only take this little and I just rub it on my hand and then on my face. It's a scrub so this is supposed to like remove all the dead skin, all the dirt that I have on my face. You can see I have smudged mascara all around my face. I have this cleansing balm that I'm still using. I have a little left. My sister got me a new bottle. I just want to use this first. It's like a cleansing balm, so melt on your face. I like to double cleanse my face just in case. This might not be the right order to cleanse. Sometimes I use this cleansing balm first. Other times I just do what I just show you guys. Usually I just warm it on my hands as well, but since is nothing left. I'm just going to smudge it around my face and especially my eyes since I have mascara on. I hate that feeling when you wash your face and the water runs through your arm and in your sweater. I have this face oil. I don't know if you can see it properly, but I bought this on a local store. It helps a lot like I have very very dry skin it's cracky and flea I don't even know how am I supposed to explain this I found this one and I fell in love remember your neck as well so important to put it on your neck and the big forehead around my face and I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like my face is shining already. After the face oil, I use this under eye cream from Clinique. My sister just gave it to me when I was in Oslo one time. I basically got almost everything from her. And with the eye cream, I just blend it under my eyes. I feel like I have big dark circles. I don't know if you guys can tell. I heard that around your eyes is the first sign of getting older. If I have like a wrinkle here, it's a sign that I'm getting old. I don't know if that's true, but I feel it's true. Next thing I use is this from Clinique as well. Um, this is a moisturizing gel. I usually prefer gel and not cream. My face is so red. I can feel the pimples on my forehead. I have like small acne pimple dots. To all those people that think that I have very clean skin. Nope, I don't. And last, I use this deep comfort hand cream from Clinique as well. It doesn't smell anything because it's fragrance free. I don't know if you can see that. So I really love this one, it makes my hands so smooth. Every time I use hand cream, I overdo it. So I take this much, like without even noticing. So I usually have a lot. When I am with others and I put hand cream on, I usually um, share it with the person next to me. That is basically my skincare routine. I don't do a lot. 
I could probably put on some face mask. I don't feel like I have the time for it right now. If you guys have come this far, thank you guys for watching. I'm so thankful for your support and not every skin types are the same. Even though I have dry skin, some products may help for me and some products may help for you. So I hope you figure it out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!